Hi, in this video I'll show you how to make use of the binomial probabilities CDF function. CDF stands for cumulative density. This will help us find the probability that x is less than or equal to whatever value that we put in. So, um, x is the number of free throws made by a basketball player when given three attempts. The probabilities for each of these outcomes is listed. Um, Given the probability, given that x is a binomial with three trials and probability of success on any trial 0.8, we can use binomial CDF to calculate cumulative probabilities. So, um, first example, probability that x is less than or equal to 1. We're going to do this on the calculator. I'm going to go to second, distributions. Scroll down to binomial CDF this time. And the general form is that you put in the number of trials, then P, the probability of success per trial, and then X if there's a specific probability. But remember, these are cumulative. So if I put a 1 in there, uh, it's going to mean that I'm looking for the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. So I'll put in 3 for n trials equals 3 trials. p.8 and if I put in a 1 that means I'm not just looking for the probability that x equals 1 this time, I'm looking for the probability that x equals 0 plus 1. And there it is. So you can verify this with the values in the table, adding together the probability x equals 0 and the probability x equals 1. Okay, when stat wizards are turned on, the menu looks a little different, and when math print is turned on as well. So we'll set that up. And let's look again. Second, distributions. Let's go down to binomial CDF. Number of trials is 3. Probability of success on each trial is 0.8. This basketball player hits about 80% of his shots. And for a particular x value, we'll put in 2 this time. But since we're in the CDF, that's not going to find just the probability that x equals 2. That's going to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So, hit enter. It's all set up. And we find out that the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 is 0.488, which you can verify by adding up the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability x equals 1, plus the probability that x equals 2. So, just remember, binomial CDF finds cumulative probabilities that x is less than or equal to whatever x value that you specify. Hope this has been helpful. This concludes this video.